Okay, it's Friday night. Uh, I'm in the middle of making some other dough. Uh, I'm quite excited to give this a try at 80% hydration. Caputo Manitoba, Manitoba even. Um, so I'm only going to do three dough balls of it. This is what I'm planning. So three dough balls. Um, I've got 300 grams per dough ball, 80% hydration here, 3% uh, salt. We're going to do eight hours at room temperature and we're going to do 16 hours at fridge CT. And the ingredients are 492 grams of flour, 393 grams of water, 15 grams of salt, and 0.71 grams of yeast. And again, this time I'm on instant dry yeast. So that's what we're going to do. I've got the water ready, I've got the salt ready. I just need to weigh the flour out of that and also get the yeast. So the main reason why I'm going for um, three 300 gram dough balls is because that pretty much gets rid of literally half a bag of this stuff and they'll leave just over 500 grams of the flour left for another experiment at some point in time. I still have a few bags of this as well so um, but I don't want too many dough balls so uh, I've already got another six in preparation already with these three on top so that should be enough for a weekend session. Um, so yeah we want 492 grams I did try this once before and gave up on it. I blew a whole kilo of it. Um, it was too runny, but I think some of the stuff I've learned recently about not giving up on the folding to get the strength, um, I think I'm just going to just try and work really hard on it. This is all going to be done by hand in the bowl. Um, I'm not going to use the kitchen aid. It's literally just going to be hand job. 495. That didn't sound too good, but uh, there you go. There we go. On the nose. 492. So it's all going to be by hand, um, and it's going to be very runny. And I think we're going to need some different techniques, possibly, to get this to uh, to become something that's going to hold a, a structure that's well shapeable, ballable, etc. Um, but it's a good strong flour and uh, it, I've seen people do 80% with Manitoba before and it does look really good so it is, a, it is achievable um, I think it's just going to be a lot of effort to get it into, uh, into a usable shape so we need 0.71 grams of yeast it's a lot easier than fresh yeast to get a precise amount Okay, and because we don't need to add this yeast to the water, we can simply chuck it straight in the flour. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and when you're messing around by hand, I'll try and get some of the yeast in. Just take some spare flour there, which can be used a bit later down the line to clean off the utensils if you use a utensil to mix it all together. So I'm just going to use a wooden spoon now to mix the yeast around. Trying not to get it all over. Okay. this is going to be pretty sloppy sorry 80 percent okay 
Okay, I'll crack on and knead this lot to, well, mash this lot together and uh, we'll be back shot. Okay, it's coming together. It's uh, very, very, very loose. I'm hoping that this lot all lies a bit after a period of time. And uh, I'm not sure it's gonna be easy to stretch and fold at the moment, looking at that. Okay, so I've got the rest of the flour here, so I'm going to use that to clean off my spoon. So I'm just going to gently mix this in and then I'm going to leave it to try and see if it'll soak some of that water up in the next 15 minutes. God. Okay. I'll leave it at that. Just noticed as I'm tidying up one fatal mistake. I didn't put any salt in. So let's get that in now. It'll be a bit bland without any salt in it. I'm trying to throw it around a little bit. Okay, it's a bit gooey, so I'm gonna leave that and uh, we'll see what it gets like in a few minutes. God, it's gonna be fun, this. Why do I do these things? Okay. Okay, so the time has come to have a, a play with this. 80% Manitoba. Uh, I've got myself a bowl here with some water in um, just to stop this stuff from sticking to me if possible. But I've seen the technique that people do with flour uh, in a bowl and it, it's something along the lines of this, believe it or not, just flapping it about. And it takes a long time but you can build up some good gluten strength with it. So that's what I plan on doing, just with this dough for the time being.
So I'm going to crack on with that for a little bit and uh, we'll have another look back in a few minutes. So this stuff. It's really sloppy. But it does feel like it's starting to develop a bit of strength. for a few minutes. Okay, the time has come. I'm gonna get this out onto this marble slab and I can move it around on the slab if I need to do. I don't know whether this is gonna be possible to stretch and fold this gloop. But I don't think it's going to get any stronger in that bowl. It's very, very hard work on the arms. So, I stick to the two fingers with a bit of water. Ooh. This is going to take ages. God. <laughs> okay. I'll cover it over and leave it for a bit. Wallpaper paste. Somehow, I just can't imagine this is ever going to get any better. Well, I couldn't cook with it as it is now, that's for sure. 
I'll just persevere with it. Right, I don't know whether we've got any further with that or not. Probably not. Let's leave it for longer. Okay, so I've got another one of these granite boards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it from this filthy looking thing to something a bit nicer. I'm going to put a bit of kitchen uh, oil, um, vegetable, not vegetable oil, extra virgin oil on a piece of kitchen towel and I've just given it just a slight covering with a little bit of oil um, and now I'm going to see if we can get this across Right, definitely improving on the uh, tackiness and residue left behind, definitely. It's a good sign. Right, I'll clean this other board up now. Okay, so I've cleaned up this uh, bit of granite. Let's see if we can get this moved over. Look at that, now it's definitely got some strength with it now. Still very, very fragile. But once I look at this, 
window pane. Yeah, there's no way on earth that it'd have done that two hours ago. <laughs> I think I'm getting to the end of this now. I don't think I can make it much better than it is, to be honest with you. I mean, we'll have a crack at making a pizza out of it tomorrow. It's not overly sticky, it's still sticky, but. smooth ball out of it but I think I need some seriously wet hands to do that. Well maybe not seriously wet but I don't think it'll go it's too sticky. No. Maybe best it's going to go. I'm going to stick that in here. Yeah, just making it worse. We'll put this in the fridge and we'll let it get nice and cold and then tomorrow at midday I'll attempt to bottle it up. See how it goes. Right, so this is the 80% hydration Caputo Manitoba that's been in the fridge. It's time to ball this up. I'm not looking forward to it. Looking at the way that is, it's going to be a challenge. So let's see what it's like. I've got myself a little tub of water. I need a knife, which I didn't get. So, <clears throat> that's all ready. I don't see how this is going to be ballable in the slightest. Hoping that the cold will make it easier. 260. got a lot of elasticity to it now though. 300, not that much. <laughs> 281. Okay, get some hands that are slightly moist. Let's see. No chance of balling that. I can't ball it. Let's try a bit more with slightly wetter hands. <laughs> nope, forget it. That's just going in like that. There's no way of balling that up. Let's do the next one. It's definitely got some elasticity to it now though. It doesn't want to doesn't want to break easily to be honest it's quite tough which is I suppose good for cooking later
pushes it right over, 285. <coughs> 277, that'll do. I don't see the point in even attempting it, but I'll just give it a quick try. I'll be able to, nah, no, there's just no way. It's bloop. I didn't try to cook it though. <laughs> Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, I'll do the last one and then uh, we'll get back later when we try and cut this slop. Okay, so let's have a look at this 80% hydration Caputo Manitoba. I can't say I'm looking forward to this. Oh God. Right, let's see if we can get it out. And start by drowning it in this stuff. Very, very, very interesting. It feels incredibly, incredibly light. Whoa, and it's very, very puffy. Need more. I think what we'll do is just tip it directly in. Whoa. This feels very, very fragile. It feels like I'm picking up a jellyfish or something. Good grief. Come on and touch it quickly. <laughs> It's not going to need much in the way of stretching. Can I even turn it over? Oh, just about. Good God, look at that. Goodbye. Right, I, th I think that's as far as I dare go with that. Um, <clears throat> I need to get this semolina room removed. <sighs> wow, that is fragile. Will it ever come off the peel? It's not, oh, it's not looking like it to me. This is going to make a mess in the oven. Pretty sure of that. <laughs> Be amazing if it actually worked out. I think we'll just go simple with the cheese and tomato. I think too many toppings will kill it. Okay. <clears throat> will it even go on? Ready? Ready? It's on. Will it stretch? It's stretching. Do I want it to stretch? Not really. Yeah. Right, that's it. Actually, I'm not ballsy enough to put something else on it. Put a few onions on. A bit of mushroom. I'll tell you what else we've got that's not too heavy. A bit of salmon. the time I'm wasting here, it might just be sticking to the peel. Oop. Let's see, fingers crossed. It's in, it's lost its shape slightly, but we're not bothered. <clears throat> okay, it's growing nicely. This is the bit I am not looking forward to. Longer. He goes. She's free. Super gentle with it. Wow. 
wow, I never thought I'd pull that one off. Crust looks mega. I think that's a wrap. So we lost a bit of shape there launching. Look at that. I never thought that would come out. 80% hydration. Let's have a cheeky look. Wow, a knife won't even cut through that. Unfortunately, but whoa, still looks pretty nice. Look at it from that angle. That's uh, yeah, springy, spr spongy, very, very light. Never had 80% before, let's give it a whirl. Wow, that is really like, it's unbelievable, it's not chewy, it's effortless to eat, mmm, well there we go, I'm quite impressed with that, very very hard work, it took me ages to make the dough, but cracking result in the end, yep, I quite like it, so there we go. 80% hydration, first time ever. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Yeah. Very soon. It's so nice. Look at that. Yep. Yeah.